Hey guys, my name is Sean C. Phillips here, also known as Cool Duder on YouTube, and I'm going to be answering some questions for you guys about acting. Uh, the first question was, how did you get into acting? Well, I've been acting uh, when it came to like doing like little skits and goofy videos. I think the first time I ever had done anything like that ever was in probably around the fourth grade, a friend of mine uh, named Nell, she had a video camera and she brought it over to my house and we made these really goofy things. We kind of like, the first thing we did was almost like we were doing like an Elvira kind of show and I like filmed stuff off the, like I recorded stuff on these VHS tapes and then we would like film stuff and cut in our clips into it and they were really random they like had no reason behind it but it was just like us doing these goofy things then we made videos of us just like eating dinner and just like goofy ridiculous stuff and then uh, she really never came over much anymore and then we never made any other videos but then when I went to middle school a friend of mine that I was good friends with named MJ he got a video camera in the seventh grade, and then once he got that, the, the floodgates were opened of me making things like crazy. And he was coming over, bringing the camera over to my house all the time. We were making these goofy little stuff about like uh, these two friends that came over. One guy, a friend that came to our friend's house, and he like uh, had to go to the bathroom, got himself locked in the bathroom, and it was really ridiculous, like just totally like childish stuff. And uh, MJ's mother hated what we were doing. I mean, it was she despised the stuff. She wanted us to be real PG. She didn't like that we had really R-rated language that we were acting. So we were middle school kids. That's kind of how I want to act And so at that point, it was like, well, she wasn't even going to let him bring the camera over anymore. And she was kind of censoring us. So then I'm like, well, I got to get my own camera. So I talked my parents into letting me get a camera. So in, in the eighth grade for my birthday, I got my own camera. And then they, from then, we just were making stuff all the time, nonstop, up until the 12th grade. Then when we graduated, then... Um, you know, uh, MJ was away in the Philippines for like a month and I was really bored and I was like, well, I, 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 I made a little like a website, like a friend pages website, which was this free thing, kind of like MySpace before MySpace, before Facebook or anything. And you could kind of like, it was almost like a blog. You could kind of post things in it. And I was uploading videos to like sites like Angel Fire and things like that. And I ended up, you know, uploading things onto to the Angel File and then sharing the links on the, posting the links on friend pages. And then to promote it, I was, uh, at, the, at that point, Napoleon Diamond had come out. And Napoleon Diamond had a message board. Like, kind of not even a message board, like a chat board where you could chat on there. And um, I used to be on there for hours a night just talking about stupid stuff because I love that movie. So I would post links to the friend pages on there and I got like I don't know like 50 to 100,000 people that looked at the site from that within like four months so we started building people looking so then at that point we we're like well this isn't working because like the angel fire would have like limits to how many people could how many like data views the thing could get so we ended up getting a domain page that was was a donimer.com uh, website then we started uploading videos on there then we moved into doing things on YouTube and posting stuff on YouTube and then I started doing in around 2007 I believe started doing my DVD collection updates, which were videos like showing my DVD collection, the new DVDs I got, reviewing them, all that kind of stuff, and those started really taking off. And then around that time um, is when it came into doing film acting because a... Um, uh, a producer had seen what I was doing and then contacted me and that leads into what was your first role and the first role that I ever did uh, was a movie called Banshee uh, but we actually got asked by that producer though to do a movie called Assault of the Sasquatch which was at, at the time called Sasquatch Assault which was like a Bigfoot movie but I said oh yeah we'd love to do that but he was like well we have this other movie called Banshee and we really you know we want to add to the ending we don't like the ending we have we want to extend upon it with this ending so uh, he ended they ended up you know uh, bringing us out we were in Maryland and it was shot in Connecticut so he paid for us to go on the Amtrak he paid for a hotel and all that stuff and then from there we got our first credit which was Banshee Banshee and uh, there's vlogs of it if you guys want to look up that on my uh, YouTube channel and um, from there, we went and then did, uh, a couple months later, the Sasquatch movie that was called Assault of the Sasquatch. At the time, it was Sasquatch Assault. And then from there, I had, like, two credits. And then from there, I was just pretty much 
uh, contacting directors, looking for people who are posting about posts, and then throughout the years, I just then that was back in uh, nine in two thousand and eight was the first movie that I that we did in March of two thousand eight was when Banshee, uh, November of two thousand eight was when we did the Sasquatch movie, and then from there I just never stopped, and ever since I've just been contacting directors or directors contacting me, so and then I moved into getting you know. Through, through YouTube and all this stuff has to do with YouTube because I ended up getting into uh, two movies for the Sci-Fi Channel and all meeting different directors and all that stuff all basically came from YouTube and being seen on YouTube by a producer and I do wonder like if I didn't get talked you know contacted by that producer and I didn't do Banshee if I would have you know been doing acting now like I, I don't know I don't know what I would be doing now I don't know if I would still be doing shorts I really don't know but but it all though stems back to me doing the DVD collection videos if I didn't do those I don't think that they would have because that's what the producer saw was the DVD videos so it was kind of funny how he saw the DVD videos but then thought I would work to act in the thing you know so it's kind of funny it's just it was I'm glad it all worked out the way it did uh, now on to the next question uh, how long you've been doing it when it comes to like the acting though like I said I started pretty much like doing like the skits and stuff big time like full time doing them all the time like n basically I've been shooting and doing videos uh, in you know one way or another since the seventh grade so it's been a long time now and that was in was it 2000 and was it 1996 or 97 or 98 I can't remember for sure exactly but whatever it was when I was in seventh grade is when I've been doing it and, and doing it n n uh, never since uh, it says, uh, what have you worked on or currently working on? Well, right now, since it's the coronavirus going on, you know, everybody's at home and all the projects are on delays. I have, um, for Tony Newton, who's behind this channel, I have been putting together with him, uh, and I've done films with him for years, you know, um, shooting things for his projects, and Virus of the Dead, 60 Seconds to Die, and tons of different movies. But during this time, uh, he's been putting together some really cool projects. We've put together one called Amityville Hex, a couple other ones that I don't think are being discussed yet, uh, public, and a couple other ones that were I was talking to him about like this serial killer kind of idea thing. Uh, so yeah, well, we've been doing a lot of that kind of stuff, but when things pick back up and you're able to go to locations and things like that. Uh, there's a couple of different things like um, uh, a zombie movie that Dustin Ferguson is directing which uh, Clint Howard is starring in and I'm going to have a scene with Clint Howard. Um, a horror movie called Strix in Texas uh, as well as uh, Crave Roots of Evil in Texas as well and a, a slasher film called Butcher's Bluff which I'm really excited about. Uh, Clown Motel 2. Um, uh, American Masquerade. So there's a whole slew of different things that are kind of coming up that I'll be working on. So some really cool stuff, and uh, and if you guys can look on my YouTube, you know, Cool Dude channel, and I post vlogs and stuff like that. I usually do onset vlogs, so I'll be posting stuff up on there. If you guys want to see uh, that kind of stuff, and this was asking, you know, too, to promote yourself. Yeah. So like I was saying, like you guys can find me on YouTube under the name Cool Dude, and I do like onset vlogs. If you guys want to see stuff like that, I try and film behind the scenes stuff. I uh, like when I'm going to the set, the kind of stuff that I do there, show like a hotel room tour, all that kind of different stuff. Uh, and then it says on here, advice for um, uh, for uh, for upcoming actors. Uh, like when it comes to like advice, I think, you know, the, bi the big thing is too, like if you've never done like acting before, just get some examples out there. Like um, do some stuff when you do like reenactments of some of your favorite movies. And you know, like, you know, stuff where you know it's like a character you could play well, you could do like a good version of. Do stuff like that. Make little shorts and just kind of stuff that really can like demonstrate your acting and kind of to show to if you want to contact and reach out to like directors that you, that are on, because you know, on Facebook is a good way to contact people. You can send them your stuff, you know, talk to them about yourself and all that kind of stuff. And, and then like look on, um, um, casting websites and and also too make sure you're friends with a lot of like filmmakers and actors on Facebook because uh, quite often on Facebook I find out about so many different things because people are posting about, about projects that they're doing stuff that they're just you know that they just got cast in and that's just that's a great way to find out about stuff and just to contact the directors too and tell them about what you do and and that kind of stuff and that's the best thing is just like and also don't expect when you first act like your first movie or anything like that, that you, it's gonna be like a big payday because it, it takes a while to build it to the point where you're going to get paid and like like you know uh, now though when I do stuff you know people fly me in and uh, pay for the hotel room have like a day rate but like it, it takes a while to 
get to that point. Like it's some actors who have like they're doing their first movie or like are thinking that they're going to be paid on like an indie movie, like big money or something. It, it doesn't work like that. You kind of have to build up to that and kind of like and then work on you, you know your filing online. Social media is very important. You know, make sure that you know you, you know to show the producers and directors that you're going to promote the projects and that kind of stuff. So I feel like that's a really important process is really doing promotion and having a social media presence where you and like don't be like one of those people who's like, oh, I don't like Facebook. It's like if you want to be an actor, you got to have Facebook. You got to have Twitter. You got to have Instagram. You got to have YouTube. You got to have all that stuff. You got to try and be active with it and show that you know you're going to promote the projects to kind of show okay, you know, if, if people cast you in the movie. You know when the, when the DVD releases and it's on video on demand and all that kind of stuff that you're going to promote it because that's a big process of it too because you want to make sure people see what you're doing. So that's my main advice, you know, for you know upcoming actors. But anyway, though, guys, thanks so much for watching my video on here. And like I said, if you guys want to see more of my videos, go to my YouTube channel, Cool Duder, and you guys can go on there. I, I do weekly videos going uh, DVD, Blu-ray shopping, showing the new releases in stores, reviewing new and upcoming releases, as well as like I said, when I go to sets, I quite often film video blogs on the sets and I have like a years of archives of on set videos. I have weight loss videos on there. So lots of different stuff that you guys can check out. But anyway though guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys later.